So I think when us Northerners think grits, we think of them as like oatmeal, and you know some people put sugar on them and milk and serve them for breakfast. And I'm not a big fan of that. Um, if you've ever had grits the Southern way, a little bacon, a little cheese, a little butter. Oh yeah, now we're talking. So this is a fun one. It's actually a casserole, and you know me, I love good casserole. So this is a side dish. It'd be perfect with you know grilled chicken or pork or even just burgers. It's a fun different side dish. I think we all get into that recipe rut where we're making a, you know, a lot of potatoes. I know we eat a ton of potatoes and a ton of rice in, in my house, so it's fun sometimes to switch it up. So this is a good one. We're making cheesy bacon jalapeno grits, and they are just delicious. And it's cheap to make, too. So the first thing we do uh, is we've got some water boiling. Four cups of water. I'm gonna do a pinch of salt, and we're gonna use the quick cooking grits. And Anne has already measured out here, and you want to make sure you can get the, the quick cooking grits. One cup of grits. All right. So I'm going to get that in here. And these are going to cook in about five minutes. Just kind of let them do its thing, their thing. And I'm going to get to work on, on some of the, rest, uh, the recipe. My grandmother, believe it or not, um, actually grew up in the South. And she, she grew up in Alabama. Um, and so I used to hang out. This is the other, not Mimi, who I talk about on the show a, a lot, but this is my other grandmother. And so actually, uh, she did some really delicious Southern cooking. And I remember for breakfast in the morning, we'd have grits. Uh, sometimes we'd have scrambled eggs, bacon, and grits. And she just uh, would put butter and salt and pepper, and I just remember them being a delicious, great side dish. So I grew up with grits and ham um, and, and a little bit of Southern cooking. So I really get excited about it. So while the grits are doing their thing, we're going to start getting to work on some of the rest of the recipe. I've got uh, a jalapeno pepper or two. Just depends how spicy you want them. And if you don't want these spicy, you can leave out the jalapenos altogether. Grits don't have a lot of flavor. They're a little bit bland. Um, so we're going to do two jalapeno peppers. And the thing with these is they're not that hot anymore. They're not as hot as they used to be seems like they've tamed them down a little bit. So and especially we're not going to use the seeds or the ribs. So this is just going to add just a little bit of heat and some great flavor. Uh, you could certainly leave these out all together. Or if you wanted, you could do a little bit of finely diced red and green pepper just to give it a little color and a little more flavor without any heat. All right. so. Just going to give this a real fine dice. Abby, my producer, likes spicy food like me. So I know she's really excited about this recipe. And I was trying to figure out a way that this could be kind of a make ahead. Because I love, you know, if you're having people over, um, you know, to get some, some things out of the way. So this is, you know, that's why I love casseroles. So you could certainly do this a couple hours before your guests get there and then just bake it off and keep it nice and warm before company comes. Okay, now, three eggs. And this is going to give this really a fluffy. Also wanted to let everybody know when you're doing grits and when we made these earlier for the casserole that we've got in the oven, I said to Ann, make sure and use a nonstick pan. And she said, really? Why? She had a, another pan all picked out. And I said, trust me on that. And she came over to my desk and she said, yeah, totally right about using that nonstick pan. So that's a, 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 a little hint when it comes to making grits is they can be a sticky, ooey gooey mess. Uh, and so a nonstick pan really comes in handy. So oh, they're almost there. They're getting there. Stir them a little bit. let them cook down a little bit and I'm gonna scramble up my eggs I've always wanted to and I've never I've been to New Orleans and I've eaten my way around New Orleans but I've and I've been to Florida and Texas but I've never really been to the deep south and had some of that you know the diner biscuit and gravy and that really you know, amazing southern fried chicken and all that. So that's on my list of things to do. So until I get there, I'm just going to start cooking some great southern recipes at home and do what I can to get that southern taste in my kitchen. All right, I'm spraying a casserole dish because we all know how important that is. And we're actually going to start 
assembling this baby. I'm going to pull it off the heat. And you notice we've got a little bit of butter here, like a whole stick of it. You could certainly cut back on the butter if you wanted to and just do a couple tablespoons or even a tablespoon, but this is how they do it down south. Or Ann says, at her house. <coughs> and it's not like we're going to eat the whole big casserole of this. This is going to serve several people. It's going to be really rich and delicious. So in goes our butter. And now we've got some bacon. Uh, you could certainly fry up some bacon, uh, but we're going to cheat a little bit, take a shortcut, and just use some already pre-cooked crumbled bacon, about six to eight strips of bacon. So if you're making bacon on a Sunday and you, you know, why not make a couple extra pieces and turn it into this side dish later in the week. One can of green chilies. This is going to add some great flavor. Love green chilies. But doesn't add heat, so don't worry about that. They just kind of look like diced up jalapeno peppers, but they're not spicy. And I happen to love green chilies. Okie dokie. In goes our jalapeno peppers. A few dashes of hot sauce, which again, it's not going to make this real spicy. It's not going to be a real spicy dish. Uh, but just going to give those bland grits some great flavor. Now I'm going to do something that you don't have to do, but it always makes me just a little bit nervous to add uncooked eggs to this warm mixture. I don't want to end up with scrambled eggs, so what I'm going to do is, what um, the fancy word for it is kind of temper the eggs. So I'm going to take a little bit of this warm mixture the grit mixture, put it in with the eggs, and that's going to warm up the egg mixture, and then we're going to go back in here. Just so we don't end up scrambling these eggs, we didn't want these eggs to be part of the casserole and keep it really nice and fluffy. Now these look terrific so far, but we're going to make them even better. Garlic salt, which is something that I grew up with at home. My southern grandmother always had, both my grandmothers had garlic salt in the pantry at all times. Um, you know, people didn't hassle with fresh garlic back in the day. Uh, so garlic salt is just, a, a, and still to this day, it's something you're probably my go-to seasoning. I've always got it in my pantry. It's just really delicious stuff, and it gives that great garlic flavor. And now in goes our cheese. We're using a, a sharp cheddar cheese, and I like to do it a, about a handful at a time in here. I just got an email or somebody on Facebook the other day who said, um, I notice sometimes you'll use a metal utensil uh, with your nonstick pans. We ha and nonstick pans have come a long way. Um, now, over the last couple of years, some of the pans that they've come out with and what makes them so wonderful is they don't have that Teflon coating um, that you know you worry about scraping it off using metal utensils. Um, these pans are actually meant, and they they'll say on the box, and that's why we love them um, that you you know you can use metal utensils with them, so you don't have to get a whole another set of utensils, which is really nice. All right, we'll save a little bit of cheese, to sprinkle on the top. Abby, are you drooling back there? Abby says, it looks so good. She's talking in my ear, and she says, you better save me some. Okay, so in goes our grits. And this was easy. I mean, it's actually easier than mashing potatoes. You didn't have to peel the potatoes. Relatively cheap to make here. Grits, I mean, it doesn't get any cheaper than that. This with fried chicken or even grilled chicken or grilled steak, nice salad. This side dish is really going to pop. People are going to be talking about this one. 
And I, I guarantee you, they're going to say, this is, these are what grits are? I, I, people who don't like grits will like these. Because most people say, oh, I don't do grits. I don't like grits. Well, they haven't had them like this. OK, so now we've got these in the oven. They take about 45 minutes to bake. And what's going to happen is the egg's going to cook, and everything's going to kind of cook together and be wonderful. Uh, because this casserole dish is very, very full, we just lined the pan with foil. And then you could garnish this when it comes out. It doesn't even really need it, but you could do a little more cheese on top, maybe a little bit of jalapeno pepper or parsley. And there you go. Cheesy bacon jalapeno grits. Just a fun new side dish, especially this time of year. There you go. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods.